We took some measurements and figured out that we could fit the new tractor on the pickup and the flatbed. So dad left to pick up the new tractor and he should be pulling in any moment now. Here they come. Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. Last night we got back home before the snow started and as you can see, this all just came last night. So we are heading to check out the tractor that dad bought yesterday and uh, hopefully it turns out to be everything that the sales guy has promised. Um, from the pictures, it does look like a pretty good tractor compared comparatively to the one that we were originally looking at and uh, it was still worth going down to Kentucky to uh, look at that one because if we didn't dad wouldn't have even probably found this one and uh, it was online for just a couple hours they just put it on yesterday morning and uh, dad saw it as we were leaving Kentucky so it was definitely worth going down there to check it out because if we didn't and he did find it he would have been strung out between the two um, this one does have more hours, but in my opinion, it looks like it was taken care of way, way better. And the 7830 down in Kentucky seemed like it was never stored inside. And even the sales guy admitted that, that uh, it was probably only put inside once. So <laughs> um, we're going to go check out the 7920. Like I said, it looks like a pretty good tractor. Uh, it looks like it's going to need a lot less. There's a lot more features on the 7920 versus the 7830. Um, the 7820 is one model. The 7920 is one model older and one year older than the 7830 that we were looking at, but it has so many more features. It's got the command arm. It's got IVT. Uh, it's got left-hand reverser. We're going to go up, check this tractor out. It still needs to be run through the shop. They're going to clean it up. It hasn't you know, it's straight off the guy's farm. It's still there. So we're going to go there and check it out. And um, we want to hear it run at least. So let's head out. This tractor is located, I think, 15 minutes outside of El Cater, Iowa, which is just across the river. So it's about an hour and a half away compared to eight and a half hours away down south. a lot better. Wow. Okay, worse. That is awesome. Well, that's not real bad. It is a little bit. Well, it's got to be fixed right away. <laughs> Two years ago, the 46 went down. That's our raking tractor. We yep. put that 30 foot rhino on the front of the 82, and these two absolutely hated it because it oh, takes half a football field just to get to the. Get you got a longer tractor than a longer rig. Yeah. Yep. I don't know if we'll end up putting this on the baler or not. We haven't really figured out if we want to put it on for. Well, it's got the ISO plug in on the back end for the baler. If I wanted to put the 1800 monitor in this, what would I have to do? Does it just plug into the cap in the corner? Yeah, it's all wired, so. Okay. That's all you need is the monitor. Okay. It'll end up getting that 1800 probably in it fairly permanent then. That's where the 20 series were iffy because some of them didn't have yeah, they, all that and some of them did. So this is one of the last ones made, right? Yeah. I think it was uh, it's a last 2006. Year. 
put this one, it's got the ISO plug in the back, but I had to replace it because it was a dummy plug. What? <laughs> oh, really? Really. It looked just like an ISO plug, but it didn't have any of the terminals in it. Huh. And the, but the wiring was there, plugged into it on the back side. Really? And I went down. So you just had to replace the plug, but the wiring was yeah. all there to it? Yep. And I don't know what all is going to end up in the cab for this planter, because we're Planner's currently sitting in the shop getting everything put on it. Can you get the tractor's information to come up on the monitor? With, on if you plug in the, You can't? No. no okay. No. The performance monitor stuff? Yeah. You're right. No. Okay. It's tried on. In fact, it's got good tried on. So. I'll be able to get that little one back over here. Same thing with the plug in the back. I'll be able to get everybody taking it. I like it. You'll get to see the tractor that this one beat out. It was really close, I promise. Yeah, I'm sure we dynoed it before he got it. We dyno everything until we could dyno it. Is this going back to your shop? Wow. Uh-oh. <laughs> Gonna put your seatbelts on, kids. Yeah, it needs all oils, all oil filters, fuel filters, cab filters. I say the decals. something more serious when he's like oh well there's a trick to it you got to hold a screwdriver down in the cab on this wire here and lick your finger yep. and then touch your toe to this <laughs> the funny thing is, is if the people yesterday said that's what you had to do to start that tractor i would have believed, believed them. them yeah the other one looked worse in the pictures and this one is better than it looks in the pictures yep yep for three thousand dollars less i can't believe it i honestly can't they're gonna put it on a dyno, we'll have a fresh dyno read on it. Decide if we wanna tune it out. I can't believe he did recognize us though before he even saw it. I couldn't the believe it. They must watch it because he knew we were out tractor shopping. Yep. Yeah. He's like, you guys are throwing people off of that. I'm like, yeah. Where are yeah. all the comments at? Imagine, I haven't seen any comments. Imagine what Facebook he's thinking, Instagram. Man. He just saw a video of us looking for a tractor and then we show up at his place the next day to buy yeah. his tractor. Yeah. And It'll be a nice all-around tractor too, something that actually be enjoyable to, to run more in the summer. Shocking the amount of people that know you. Yeah, you guys were uh, pulled in down there yesterday and they know who you guys were. What's, what's the model or what are they getting? 7920. 7920. Yep. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, I, I believe there's going to be a hammer strap with it for sure. So okay. you'll have a toolbox. I'll have a hammer strap. No we'll, front end weights. We'll worry about the weights because it does. It has yep. the bracket. That's that's, that's got the bracket. It. The decal. Okay. Yes. The decals. So the decals. If you guys want to put them back on, that's fine. But I can price them through the guys and just see what those even are. But so but the, the, I want something done with the decals, even if it's us. But then. All filters, engine. Oh, oh yeah. I told them we'd go through. We'd go through it anyway when we service it, and just make yeah. sure we don't see anything else. But okay. I say the parts are superficial, and it's just those simple things that if you don't do it, I'm well, gonna do it regardless. Instead of running clear to get the part anyway, you know, we're, yep. we're here. So. Yep. We well, at least right. do that much. I'm more than happy. I mean, it's, yeah. it's a nice machine. So. Yeah. Where it is. So, if the Realistically, out, the if the roads are good, we may have it here tomorrow. But okay. all right, all Anything right. Else, but... Sounds great. Thanks, yeah. guys. Thank you. Did you guys uh, get any hats or not? Better no. take some phone singer hats going over into Sloan Country. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. We'll be in touch. Hopefully. Thank you very much. Thanks. Yeah. Well, he would have your own. We are definitely going to be happier with the 7920 versus that 7830 that we had gone and looked at. So just by looking at it, you can tell that it's been taken care of so much better over the course of its life. And uh, I 
still feel that all tractors that are used are going to need something, but this one doesn't have nearly as many things that we'd have to work on versus that 7830. So um, right now we're feeling pretty optimistic about it. Now it's going to be a while before they deliver it because they're waiting for the weather to straighten out. We are getting six inches of snow right now and the weather really isn't supposed to improve much. They don't want to deliver it while it's mushy and there's a lot of salt on the road and uh, we don't want them to deliver it either. So. Once we get it, after we're done playing around with it for that first day, we're going to take it up, hook it up to the planter, so then it's ready to, ready to go for the spring. I know that all of us are extremely excited to have another tractor on the farm, and it's going to be so useful having it. So I'll be sure to give you guys an update when it gets delivered, so be sure to keep an eye out. With that, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat, all How Farms Work. And with that, I'll see you next time.